we are at, the helicopter's coming in, but we are at the uh, Long, Longbeard County Shotgun Turkey Banquet, the NWTF chapter. So we're going to go in here and we're going to have a good time and I'm bringing you along with me. As we go in, you see Brent right there talking politics. That's a good thing. So, well, what uh, Keely's doing, Keely's doing the camera. She is going to walk back here to the tables to see what's for auction and what's for sale. Of course, we just got there. The, actually, the doors were not even supposed to be open yet. We got there early and people's already piling, piling in. But as she walks back over, this table right here is the silent auction table. And of course there's a lot of knives, more knives, a turkey call, a shooting bag, let's see, we'll see a fishing rod up here, some Yeti coolers, or Yeti drinking, drinking wear, cups, whatever you want to call it. But this right here is a silent auction table. And you'll also see one of these signs. Oh, it's got a turkey call. One of those Tennessee signs, the NWTF. And you'll see later that the, these signs right here go for hundreds of dollars. Now this right here has got a cooler, those Tennessee signs like I was talking about. Uh, you got traveling bags. Now these right here are going to be out for auction. So I mean, everybody on their son is going to be able to, to bid on them. And they had a bunch of those signs. Like I said, they went for a bunch of money. Uh, they had chairs. They had an office chair back there at the front. Uh, that saw later up here, you're going to see a, uh, a whiskey barrel that's made into a bar, an uh, electric car for your kids. Uh, now these little uh, beds for the dogs, that's those are nice. That print right there, you can send out the certificate right there on the barn, you can have whatever you want printed on it. And then that $200 scope in front of the barrel. Or not $2,000 scope, I'm sorry, $2,000 scope. But those signs was, was really the big hit. Now there's the AR-15, this is the ladies table. They got pistols and of course everything under the sun on it where you can buy tickets. The bank was on September 10th, so everybody knows what the next day was, 9-11. September 11th, everybody that's old enough remembers that day. So, the guys at the club, the NWTF, wanted to recognize all the veterans of all the wars, and the first responders, by giving them a little lapel pin, and everybody, of course, you know, thanked them, and we always thank your, your service. So, uh... Here's that one. The next group of folks I want to recognize, we couldn't live in this free country and enjoy God's creation and hunt and fish without our veterans. And I want to recognize and bring every veteran we have in the room up front. I've got an NWTF pen that I want to present to every veteran in the room that I want you to stay up front and lead us in the pledge before we eat. So all the veterans, come up front. Come on up. Let's give them a hand, too. Just line up over here. All the veterans, just line up. So while they're still coming up, this year's pen says NWTF honors freedom's front line. But that means any EMTs, first responders, police officers, firefighters, game wardens, if you're in the room and you're a first responder, I want to give you a pen as well and recognize you. Please come up front and get your pen here as well. Let's give them a hand. All right. If I could get everybody to stand and gentlemen remove your hats. I want to ask our veterans, the flag is uh, back on that wall right there. I want to ask our veterans to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance.
remain standing. I want to ask Mr. David Dodd to come up and give thanks. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for the freedom and justice that we have in this country. For the men and the women, Lord, that just stood and gave their lives and all that they do give. And I just pray most of all for the freedom that's through Jesus Christ. Father, I just pray that the food we receive tonight just nourish our bodies, Father, and help each one of us, Lord, as we travel about. Father, just give us a mighty hand of protection. Forgive us where we come short in failure. In Jesus' name, I want to give you the honor and glory that you deserve. Amen. Amen. Well, of course, they've been selling out the tickets on items and drawn during the night. But now, it's almost time to eat. So, it was ledge ledges, then prayer, cars going by, and then while we was going through the line to get our food, we put on the old feed bag. Gentleman was playing for us, so uh, we'll show you that one right now too. Me too, really. Me too, really. Me too, really. Me too. His mama was a mountain bird. That Miss Pud was born to run anything for a bird. He lived all bones and paper scraps. He was clean as a snake in the spring. Daddy said to keep him half hungry. That'll make him fast as mean. Oh, All down to some bottom he would go. Whatever he was running through, so better not be slow. He'd drift the world when the sun went down, or he'd run it through all night. Bud would be the first of the three and the last to leave the fight. He'd lay around the yard till I got home, off of that old school bus. Took it just down, going around in circles, making just an awful fuss. I'd run in the house, and quick as I could, I'd change in my playing clothes. Back out the door and off to the woods to test that old dog's nose. Off down through some bottom he would go. Whatever he was running, sure better not be slow. He had dressed the world when the sun went down, and he had run to the all night. But it would be the first of the three and the last to leave the fight. Never had a whole lot of paper for a big long link. Spaghetti. Don't cover you. Wow. Wow. You put food in your mouth. 
You don't remember it, Okay, now it's time for the auction. Now they've been auctioning off stuff all night long. If you look at the ladies' table, you can buy tickets, like ten or twenty dollars worth of tickets. So then they draw for that and some of the other stuff. Of course they had guns and ARs and pistols and coupons and other stuff but now we're getting into the nitty-gritty of an actual auction and if you've ever been to an auction then you know if you have not it gets wild now this is just a little short little clip but it's time for the auction some of that uh, tax money that just come out for getting electric vehicles, Blake. I ain't sure you need to see your tax advisor on that, but uh, you're bidding on the mud truck. Bid to buy, bid to buy right here. Make old Sleepy Joe proud. Hey, 200 where? Hey, 200. Yeah! 300, three, three, whatever the three. Yeah! 300, 400, whatever the 400 anyway. Yeah! 400 and 5, 5, whatever the 500. 400 and 5, whatever the 500 anyway. Yeah! Six, five hundred and six, and a six hundred anywhere. I mean, five hundred, five hundred and six. Six oh five is the high bid. Five twenty-five, five twenty-five. I mean, five hundred, five twenty-five, five hundred, five twenty-five. Sold it five hundred. Put it on number twenty-four. Let's give them a hand. Well, I tried to get them to be a little more to get that sign. Next up is our prideful retrieve. Lab sculpture, lab bust. Well, I don't even see him. Yeah, over there he is. Okay. This lab's got this canvas back in his mouth here, brought it in, really nice sculpture. Prideful retrieve. All right, Hunter, where? Hey, who but a hundred got it? Hundred, I'm at a hundred over here. Hundred and a half, hundred and a half, now two hundred, two hundred and a half, now three, three, what about a three anywhere? I'm at two and a half, now three. Two and a half and a three, two and a half and a three, two fifty over here and a three, two and a half and a three hundred. How about two seventy five? Two seventy five. Yeah. Now three. Now yeah. quarter and a quarter. What about three and a quarter? Three and a quarter. Three hundred over here. Three and a quarter. Anybody? Sold it. Three hundred. Put it on number five. Give old Randall a hand. He bought him a dog. You want him to feed that one, Randall? You want to even feed that dog? You want to bid on it for you? Uh-uh. Oh. Hey, this is, uh, this is the best. This is the last one. And I promise you, if you don't have one, this one is the luckiest one. Number 10, it's orange. This is the last one we're selling in the auction. There is one on silent. I don't know what the bid is, but this is your last chance to buy one here in the live auction for sure. Number 10 on the Franke. All right. Hunter with Brad, I know. 100, now 2, 200, 200, now 3, 3, what about a 3, yeah. anywhere, 300, now 4, what about a 4, 300, 300, now 4, what about a 4, anywhere, I'll do 3 and a quarter, 3 and a quarter, yeah. now half, half, what about a 3, 50, yeah. anywhere, 3 and a half, now 75, 75, what about a 3, 75, 3, 50, now 75, 3, 50, now 75, what about a 3, 75, all in, all done, 3, 50, now 3, 75, sold it. Well, there you have it, I really didn't, uh, film an ending while I was there, so this is it. Uh, I think they raised over like $25,000. A lot of that goes to the NWTF. So uh, they said they're going to do it again next year, so be on the lookout for it if you're in the area. So for the Supervisor Scout, Hunter, I think that's right, I am Jeff. So uh, Tennessee Buck Outdoors, and we'll see you next time. Or this has got coffee in it. Nope.